Hi everybody, welcome again this week. So this week we're co coming off of ordinary time for just the one Sunday to, um, to celebrate the Assumption of Mary. And we also get to celebrate this Sunday, the feast day of St. Maximilian Kolbe. So let's first talk about the Assumption of Mary. So this feast celebrates that Mary was taken to heaven, her body and her soul all at once. You know, when we die, we hope that our soul go to heaven. Um, but for Mary, it was her body and her soul. Um, so let's talk for a, a minute about Mary and why she's so special. As a matter of fact, let me read today's gospel and then we'll talk about Mary. So it's a, a reading from the gospel according to Luke. May Christ's words be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. When the angel Gabriel told Mary that her cousin Elizabeth was also going to have a baby, Mary went as quickly as she could to the town where Zechariah and Elizabeth lived, up in the hill country of Judah. As soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's voice, the baby inside her began to move. Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she said to Mary, Of all the women on earth, you are the most blessed, and the baby in your womb is also blessed. I'm so honored because you, the mother of my Lord, have come to visit me. You are blessed, Mary, because you believed in the promise that God made you. And Mary said, I sing with praise the greatness of the Lord, and my heart finds joy in God my Savior. The Lord has chosen me, a humble servant. Now all people will say I am blessed. The Lord who is mighty has done great things for me, holy is God's name. God has destroyed the power of people who are proud and honored those who are poor and humble. God has given food to the hungry people and sent the rich away with nothing. God has come to help the people of Israel because of the promise made to Abraham and Sarah and their family forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months, then returned to her home in Nazareth the gospel of the Lord. And we all say praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So what does this story that we heard today tell us about Mary? It tells us that she was a woman of faith. And in the stories throughout uh, the New Testament of Mary, tell us different things about her. So when Mary is in Bethlehem giving birth to Jesus, it tells us that she was a wife and a mother just like you have a mom, Jesus had a mom. When Mary um, took Jesus to the temple, we learned that she was a woman who was very religious. She believed in God and wanted to do what God asked of her to do. And then when Jesus began his public ministry, they, um, Mary was with him and it was at the wedding feast at Cana. And um, she, she, um, cares for the needs of others. That's what that story tells us. And then um, when she's at the foot of the cross, it's to remind us that she remained faithful to her faith till the end. So all these things we learn about Mary in the Bible. And all these qualities are what makes Mary so extra special. And that's why we like to take the time to honor her today. Mary was a human being like you and me, but she really listened to God's call and was chosen in a very special way. And that's why she's um, so important and why we try to imitate her and be like her in our everyday life. So I also said that in addition to the assumption today um, and honoring Mary, we were honoring St. Maximilian Kolbe, our patron saint here at St. Max. So, um, so let's talk about St. Max for a moment. So the reason this is his feast day is this is the day that he entered heaven. You know, all of us celebrate our birthdays here on earth, the day we became people here on, on earth, right? And we're born. We celebrate feast days of the saints because that's the day they went to heaven. So St. Maximilian Kolbe, he died less than 100 years ago. If you go online, ask your parents to help you 
find a picture of St. Maximilian Kolbe and you can see exactly what he looked like. In a lot of the pictures, um, you'll see he had a brown robe on because he was a Franciscan priest. He also, um, in a lot of pictures, had a long beard as well. He looked really kind of cool. He ended up um, in one of the death camps during the Second World War and he chose to die in the place of one of the other prisoners in, um, in the death camp during World War II. And, and that is why we consider him a martyr for his faith. If you look at the statue that's in front of the church of St. Maximilian Kolbe, you'll see he's standing there with his arm around another person. So that's the man whose place he took um, and, and uh, died for him. St. Maximilian Kolbe was also very active in promoting the veneration or prayers to the Immaculate Virgin Mary. And so it's so fitting that we get to celebrate his feast day on the same day as a Marian, as a Mary feast day on the Assumption of Mary. So it's just an extra special kind of thing that we get to do today. So those are just a little couple of things about St. Maximilian Kolbe that I'd like you um, to think about and remember. And there's so much more you could read about him online and there's also really great books. So let's take a few moments to pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. For the church, that we may be like Mary, treasuring God's words and deeds in our hearts and drawing wisdom from them for our daily life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, that Mary may awaken them to the importance of each human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all mothers, especially our own moms, that they may find in Mary the example and strength to carry out their vocation, their role as a mother. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our own parish community, that inspired by Mary's witness of faith and through our patron saint, St. Maximilian Kolbe, we may always be positive signs of hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And special prayers this week for all of you who started school last week or this coming week or in the next few weeks, that it will be a good and successful year and that everyone will stay healthy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's take a moment and pray for those things in the silence of our hearts that, um, that we would like to remember to ask God for. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's finish off today with a glory be. Um, I think most of you know that. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So last weekend, we celebrated the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Next weekend, we'll celebrate the 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time. And just remember, this is a really special Sunday that we remember um, our Blessed Mother in Heaven. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.